plus what is order attribute and ignore attribute so let me create one simple class for that just i'll copy this particular test class and i'll paste it in the project i'll rename this particular class with the order skip attribute that's it just i'm copying the class name here i'm deleting all the methods here I'll delete this particular class also, which is inherited. And I'll rename the class name with the order attribute, order skip attribute. So before that, we'll discuss one more thing. That is with respect to the Internet Explorer browser and the Firefox browser. Let us add one or two more DLLs to the, this project. That is a uh, a firefox browser and the internet explorer browser and we'll discuss how to how to execute your uh, selenium c sharp script in uh, internet explorer browser and firefox browser what you need to do is you need to add the dll for this project right click on the references go to the manage nuget packages here you just go click on the browse tab here make sure that you are in a browse tab and enter this particular here i'm installing the firefox browser with the version of 0 0.21.0 so just i'll click on the install just say yes to all so it will impact over the project that's it it is finished in the same way i will add internet explorer browser object i mean the dll with the version of 3.11.0 just say click uh, install and here just say yes to all now it is finished that's it so now we will be discussing what is that uh, order attribute and the skip attribute what i will do is i will delete this particular so let me uh, mention the group group name as order attribute so it will be very easy to execute uh, because that particular group will be listed here so you can execute that particular test very easily so here i'm mentioning the group name as order attribute order and skip attribute that's it so in the test method one just i'll rename with the test method one so this particular test method one will be uh, i'm creating the browser object of chrome driver and i'll assign that to the i web driver that's it by using this object 
we are going to identify that particular element before that we need to launch the web browser and after launching the web browser we need to enter that particular url that's all i will copy this particular url facebook.com so that's it then we need to close the driver so this particular test method what what it will does is it, it opens the chrome browser and it will enter this particular url and it is going to enter this particular value into the this particular email text field so if you are not familiar with how to write xpath and all what you do is i highly recommend you to go through with those tutorials go to the youtube and just search selenium quick tutorial by bakkapayan if you hit the search search box icon then you will be seeing the one playlist so if you click on this particular selenium quick vd tutorials here you will be seeing all the videos videos are uh, java basics then i have covered all the um, selenium with java so if you go to the video number 19 here you can see uh, how dynamic in selenium in multiple ways and in this particular tutorial i have spoken about how to write a dynamic xpath in multiple ways in the same way we have one more tutorial called 20th in that i have discussed how to write a uh, v1 css selectors that's it then we are closing the web browser here so we have added uh, firefox browser and ie browser so in the same way what i will do is i'll copy this particular test and i'll paste it only the object i will change before that i'll change the method name as test method 2 and test method 3 so whenever you are create for the chrome browser you are creating the object of chrome driver in case of firefox browser you need to create the object of firefox driver that's it just import the related packages click on this firefox driver just press control dot just select the first statement that's it so this particular test method it will run on firefox browser then test method 3 we want to run it in ie browser so here i'll create the object of internet explorer driver that's it just press control dot you can select here that comes this particular internet explorer driver comes from the open dot selenium dot i that's it so before that what i will do is i will close all the instances of the chrome chrome browser so this is not required when you if you are using a driver dot quit that time no process will be in running state so if you are using driver dot close that time only some couple of processes will be in still running state that's it so let us build this particular solution before that we will clean the solution so if you are cleaning that particular solution to make sure that if any conflicts are there it is going to delete it and when we do rebuild the solution it is going to reload all the files in the same solution so still we have a level of parallelism as 10 this i will make it to the 
just I'll command this particular line so that uh, no test is will be run in parallel state parallel so let me go to the order and skip attribute class we have specified group as a order skip attribute if you go to this particular group here you are seeing test method 1 test method 2 and test method 3 if i oh, if i try to run test method 3 it should execute this particular script in internet explorer browser right click on that particular test method 3 and run selected test so this is the way you can run your uh, selenium c sharp and unit automation script in different browsers like ie browser this is ie browser and you can run same in firefox browser as well now till till now we have discussed how to run you your selenium c sharp and unit automation script in chrome browser firefox browser and internet explorer browser now we will discuss what is this order attribute then we will discuss what is that skip attribute so what you need to mention is in the same way similar to the test we have one more attribute called order in that you need to specify the if you look at here order it takes the integer as a argument so you need to specify the integer number that is a pre this is a priority you are giving to that particular test method to run so i want to run this particular chrome browser not first i'll mention there are we have total three methods so i want to run this particular test method in at last i means always order it will start from the zeroth so if you mention zero it will execute that method as a first and if you mention one that met method will be going to execute it as a second one so we have total three methods i will specify it as a two so this particular test will be executed after executing these two test methods that's it so i'll give the priority for this particular firefox browser test method 2 is i'll specify the order as 1 and in the same way i'll specify the order for the test method 3 as a 0 sorry for the background noise guys zero so in my case if i i have mentioned test method three as a zero so that's the reason it is this particular method will be executing first so our test script will be executing on internet explorer first then we have mentioned order as one then second test script will be executing it as a firefox browser then third test script will be executing it as a chrome chrome browser so that's the reason it takes the order which you have mentioned it starts from the zeroth whichever the test script you have mentioned it as zero that particular test method will be executed as a first time that's it so let us clean this particular solution then we will rebuild the solution that's it here i'm going to this particular mod of uh, category which we have specified for this particular all the uh, order skip attribute class under that we have total three test methods right click on that just say run selected test so i have not enabled the parallel testing in this case So if you look at here first test method is got executed then test method 3 is got executed then test method 3 is running still now 
okay let me disable still that particular statement from the assembly dot assembly info dot cs because because of this reason multiple tests are launching at the same time let me terminate those processes by entering this particular uh, command task kill slash f slash m chrome driver dot exe so let us rebuild the same solution I have commented both the lines parallelizable and level of parallelism command. Now I will rebuild the solution. That's it. Now I will try to run this particular all the test cases which are belong to the order skip attribute. So if you look at here first Internet Explorer browser is running now. Then second It is launching me the Firefox browser. Then finally, it will launch us as the Chrome browser and it will execute all the validations which you have written. So, that's what we have specified in the order skip class. First, we need to run uh, Internet Explorer test script and then Firefox script, and finally, it has to be run on. Chrome browser. That's it. That is all for the order attribute.